So now we have Doom and Mr. R versus Bloodcross and Inui. Uh oh. Mr. R was pulling out the the Meta Knight earlier on, Ooh. but now it's and Doom was going Wario, but now it seems like they're back to their their team one, I guess you could say. I think that makes sense because you know Peach kind of gets bodied pretty solid by both. Yeah, for sure. As opposed to having Wario on the team, yeah. which is a liability in that sense. I do think Blood Cross is very good for Mars in general, though. So I don't think this will be completely free for Mr. R. Yeah, he beat Mike Hayes at his Gaytar, yeah. so... Now, Red Team has control, and a lot of what I was seeing from Blood Cross and Inui is they have this formation where Blood Cross is on the ground and Inui is just floating behind yep. Blood Cross. And it's really strong for, for a formation because it allows Inui to just forward air on reaction to any sort of unfavorable scenario that Blood Cross gets itself into. And that style of team play specifically goes back all the way to melee. Like, mm -hmm. people have been doing that for a long time. If you watch, Peach is always, for the most part, like just kind of floating and waiting point or support. It doesn't really matter. And you can just go in. I think uh, Peach can play on point more in melee because her her moves are just safer and stronger in general. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah, for sure. And nonetheless, I mean, red team again with good stage control. Yeah. Ooh, that that was I would say that's oh. a more favorable trade for red team. Yeah, I mean, Mr. R can definitely still make the stock yeah. work out for him. But also, like a Peach stock for a Meta Knight stock is. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel you on that one, loud and clear. <laughs> Mr. R running out of shield right there, looking a little scared. <laughs> oh yeah, for sure. And now with the blue team on the stage control, Mr. R choosing to be aggressive, which, which is understandable, Peach in the air. Ooh, Blood Cross with that up B covering a lot of options, gets a nice solid kill. And yeah. this aggressive Mr. R, more or less aggressive, yeah. is... Passive is, aggressive. <laughs> yeah, it, it's really helping out because it's allowing him to put in some pressure in opportunities where Peach isn't able to negotiate, you know, with the Marthas easily. And again, with the matchups that we were talking about, it, it picking Marth and Meta Knight definitely proven to be a good choice. Nice up air. Mr. R, very, a lot, one thing I noticed, he tends to get almost very psychic, very intuitive up airs in combos. Wow, that was, that was a rough He down smashed, too. but then <laughs> Mac, uh, <laughs> Doom Just grabbed him. Nike. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, wait a second, I want this kill, son. <laughs> Like, look, sometimes, like, sometimes you really, even you see top players, they throw the matchup out the window and they, you get thirsty and it, it pays <laughs> off. Sometimes, sometimes. Yeah, for sure. Nonetheless. Oh my god, that was very unfortunate. Mr. R didn't look too, too happy about that one. Yeah, I mean, and Red Team with the lead here. Yeah. And, and even Meta Knight is pretty much near kill percent for Peach. Like a solid forward air if it's fresh will do it. So, uh. If they can kill Doom, the red team definitely has a pretty solid advantage in my opinion. Like at the moment, anybody can do it. Yeah, and now here's another thing about that because this three to this three stock situation is very tricky. See, Mr. R is looking really healthy. So with Inui and Blood Cross, if they both die, then that's going to be very troublesome because that's a two v one situation, and those are technically impossible. See, Inui's not even taking the stock. Yeah. So right now it's looking very grim. That's true. Before I would like to comment, by the way, uh, <laughs> Blood Cross had the cutest moment. Mr. R whiffed an up B, because that's definitely a stock. Yeah. And Blood Cross went over and dash shielded instead of doing a hard punish. And okay. then he waited and nared. And instead of immediately doing the nair, Mr. R expected to get grabbed out of shield. Right. Or up B, maybe. So he didn't SDI, so he took both hits of the neutral air. Ah. That, that's a very cute trick from Blood Cross to kind of mess with your reactions. I feel like him as a player, especially knowing, ooh, very clutch. Oh, uh, and he toys with your reactions a lot. Yeah. Look at that. Like, look, look at the way he's playing. <laughs> he picked a lot of options. Oh, that that's you... a grab. Oh, the <laughs> sandwich situation. And that was the safest down smash that I think I've ever seen. That that up smash wasn't the right call. A side B for sure would have, from Mars at least, would have uh, would have definitely caught Meta Knight in that situation. Yeah, not really much that he can do. No. You just, know, um, just really outplay like everybody. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, see Mr. see how he just messes with your yes. reaction? Like yes. it's, that's my favorite thing about watching Blood Cross. You, you can't react to what he's going to do. You really have to beat him as a player, or he has to beat himself mentally in order to defeat him. Right, fair enough. <laughs> Chibo, that's smart. Ch Chibo, Chibo, no Chibo knows. Chibo knows. <laughs> 
Blood Cross definitely trying to hold his own, but... Like, you know, he hasn't died and he's racked up damage. Right. I mean, Doom's Woo! still looking very healthy yeah. this entire time. And excellent of B. A little bit too early, though. Nonetheless, the damage and the positioning. Oh, nice power shield. Again. Oh. Yo, Blood Cross is playing excellently, I, I really have to say. So uh, is Doom, nonetheless. He is. That should be it. Oh my god. Alright, one grabs the edge, one... Blood right. Cross screaming yes. for God. Like, <laughs> <laughs> spare me. Spare me, sir. <laughs> what did I ever do to you, you know? <laughs> I'm just trying to win. <laughs> Robin Mister. showing off his sponsor, Nivea. Nivea. Stay fresh, everybody. Mad lotion everywhere. <laughs> Nivea, Mr. R. <laughs> Mr. All the way from here, Europe. Mr. Lotion. <laughs> now, for game two, as as Peach with Meta Knight, I'm not necessarily sure what they could go to. I mean... I think it really FD, comes down to personal preference. I think FD point. would be a fair stage just because Peach does have project. Oh, there we go. Yeah. But you Re also have to realize... Commentator's prophecy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Opposite of the Cursor Man. Hey, but like... Peach can't land that well versus either Meta Knight or Mars, so it is really a double-edged sword. Um, but I think it is worth the risk. Yeah. It was either here or running back to Smashville, probably. There aren't very many gimmick stages left in our in our rule set at this point. Ooh. And Peach also, one of the things we can see is that Peach is really slow. Her base movement's really slow, so she's not really able to catch up with um, Blood Cross whenever he's in a terrible situation. Like right now, especially with the stage control that's being demonstrated right oh, yeah. here. Blue Team's done a great job of just separating Red Team and not really letting them get momentum the entire game. Mm -hmm. And you know, it's still winnable at this point, but you, you could just... Red Team doesn't look like they're in control at all. They've never felt like it. You can tell by the options they're picking, it's kind of... It's almost right. desperate at some point. Now, instead of Doom opting to edge guard Blood Cross, he went for... He ended up going for Inui, which which did get like you know good positioning because Inui's now he's on the edge, but it did also allow Blood Cross to take back stage control. So it's sort of a double-edged sword in that in that sense. And Inui missing the punish there and that up beat yeah. Mr. R. Well, I think in teams like more so than singles, a lot of times people opt to just go for the hard punish just stage control if they have confidence that their partner is going to cover them. You know, like yes. if, you, if you have a good partner, then you can really do a lot more greedy things in teams. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. <laughs> show Those show the 08 tape. technology. Shout out to Dean Brandon. <laughs> Chibo already knows. <laughs> now red team managing to gain back some stage control and anyway doing really well. Oh, Nonetheless, oh. Blood Cross taking a little bit too much damage than than what he needs right now. However, if Blood Cross can manage to maintain a second stock, it's gonna help out a lot. <laughs> that that down smash would have killed Doom, but Doom went into Inui while Inui was invincible, so that body break. <laughs> <laughs> and I'd like to mention great patience by Mr. R flanking there versus Blood Cross. He didn't get gimmicks or gimped at all. Right. He, he got down smashed there and he. Because he, he had to commit. Yes. Nonetheless, he made he it lived. back. Shout out to Doom for great coverage. He took uh, some damage, but it was worth it. Now, Mr. It seems as though Doom and Mr. R are a little bit confused as to who should who should have gone in in those situations. They're really close together. So. You know, I really feel like it worked out in their favor because Mr. R, a lot of times, you know, his movement is extremely disrespectful, but he picked extremely smart options. Nice spot to agree by Blood Cross. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, he, he tends to move in your face where you think he can do something greedy, but he just picks very passive, or passive aggressive options which right. bait out what you're going to do. So oh yeah, for sure. With his movement, he can really just kind of be in the middle of everything and just not necessarily be in the way. And now an entire stock down. Looking really grim for the red team at this point. Unless Blood Cross can make this edge guard happen. Nobody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I kind of feel like uh, Blood Cross definitely has an advantage on Doom in the offstage game. Mostly, oh yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, if Blood Cross can negotiate with Nairo, especially, you, uh, I mean, <laughs> well, that, you could that, definitely. That's very different, though. Wow. Yeah. Great edge guard by Blood Cross. Doom Understandable. Can save his partner. Yep. Nice coverage from Doom. But uh, I feel like edge guarding Nairo and edge guarding other people is just very different. Very things. different. Fair enough. There's so many different kinds of meta dice. Ooh. Ooh. Anyway, with the pimp smack. <laughs> 
<laughs> get out of my face. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice board smash. Killed, killed by anyway. Yeah. <laughs> and Doom again waiting patiently on the stage, on the edge. Sorry. And with Mr. Arcwing back, it's Ooh, just able to read. capitalize with that stage control and Blood Cross uh, threw his controller straight over. He just to donated me. his art game <laughs> controller to Clash Tournament. <laughs> <laughs> If anybody would like an orange game controller on the stream, press <laughs> one. If you would prefer a uh, black, press two. <laughs> Shout out to Halloween. Yeah, Peach can't. I was about to say Peach wow. cannot really land, but nice back air. Looking, I don't, I don't looking like Snake worried. out there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, nonetheless, nah, Miss like, R is definitely This seen. is a rough matchup. Ramen definitely has experience in it because Leon used to main Peach. I don't know if people know that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. But uh, if, yeah, that's it. Yeah. But if any we pulled that upset, that probably would have been like the hypest thing he's done in like three years. <laughs> blood just, Cross is just showing Blood Cross's controller. <laughs> to Clash tournaments. Just uh, straight up throwing it to down. You know what? Clash tournaments. I'm done with this. 